Hello everyone. I'm thrilled to have you here with me today. In this video, we're going to install and configure VM. But before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss any of our content. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for your ongoing support. Your likes, comments, and shares mean the world to me. Let's start. VM Backup and Replication is a robust, all-in-one solution designed to safeguard and manage your data within virtual environments. It's a game-changer for businesses relying on VMware and Microsoft Hyper-V, offering a comprehensive suite of tools for backup, recovery, and data management. VM's intuitive interface streamlines the backup process, ensuring your virtual machines are protected efficiently. Beyond just backups, it facilitates replication, providing an extra layer of security by creating exact copies of your VMs, ready to kick in if the primary system encounters any issues. With its array of features, from deduplication to advanced monitoring, VM Backup and Replication stands as a reliable, comprehensive solution for your data protection needs in virtualized environments. I have downloaded VM Backup and Replication ISO file and mounted to this server. To start installation, open Setup as Administrator. Wait for some seconds. Click on Install. Select Install VM Backup and Replication. Usually Install VM takes 15 minutes along. Click on Accept. Now you have to provide license file that downloaded from VM website. Don't worry, you can use VM for small environment freely. To use free version of VM, you have to check Update License automatically. Next. To use VM Backup in small and mid-size environment, let the application install and configure all prerequisites. But in enterprise environments, you should configure these settings like databases. Click on Install. OK, successfully installed. Finish. Open VM Management Console to manage, configure, and monitor VM jobs. This is community version features that you can use freely. At first, we have to configure backup repository to save our backup files on it. In this server, I have drive D that added earlier by using ISKZ, and we will save backup files on it. Right-click and select Add Backup Repository. Select Direct Attached Storage. Select Microsoft Windows. Give the name to this repository. Next. Create a new folder to place backup files in it. Next. Select created folder on drive D. Next. Next. Apply. Next. 
next. Finish. It has asked me to change the VM configuration backup path change to newly repository. Click yes. Remove default repository that created automatically during installation. Now I'm going to add my ESXi server as a backup source. From Virtual Infrastructure, click on Add Server. I use VMware Virtualization, so select VMware Versphere. Because I don't use Cloud Director, I select Versphere. Write IP or DNS name of your ESXi or vCenter. I don't want to use root credential, so I am going to create a new user in my ESXi. If you know how to create a user in ESXi, you can skip this section. Write your ESXi or vCenter credential. Continue. Created user don't have permission, let me check. Click on Apply again. OK, it's going to add my infrastructure. Finish. As you can see, my ESXi and VMs appears here. Now that is time to create a backup job. Backup virtual machine. Give the name to this job.
Select High Priority. Next. Add. Select VMs that you want to backup. Don't select VM Backup Virtual Machine to Backup Job. Add. You can see the total size of your backup. Next. You can change the retention policy from here. 10 means backups will keep for 10 days. In other words, you can restore your VMs maximum to 10 days ago. By default, each Saturday it create a full backup. Next. Next, you can schedule this job to run automatically based on desired period of time. Apply. These are summary of this job. Finish. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it informative, and if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below sharing your thoughts or any questions you might have. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our future content. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, there's a good chance your friends and family will too, so don't hesitate to share it with them. Sharing is caring.